Wasn't too long ago the Project Goldie was dropped off here at the shop. Truck was stolen, wrecked, sent off to auction. Had minor frame damage, lost a fender, lost a bumper, and numerous engine components. But with nearly 100 man hours put into this truck and countless dollars, she is once again a truck. Today we're going to give her a rundown, shakedown, tow test. Per tradition, hook up the dump trailer, see what this old truck can do. This might and probably should be considered the nicest driving second gen. We just hooked up the dump trailer. It's a light load, but it's a trailer. Mainly we're gonna check out the functions of the uh, trailer wiring. We got wires, we got lights. And just see how the old girl does. Shake her shakedown test with the trailer. Yeah, Captain, we are. That trailer breaks her greatly on. How do you turn it down on this? Icky. Is it a button? It is. Not a knob. There we go. We don't need them on three with an empty trailer. Got me a new hitch. Came with another parts truck. Project truck? Parts truck? So she's tipped down a little bit. She's not leveled. All of our lights appear to be working. I like it a lot. We got a decent little load. Oh, Pre-trip. Visual inspection on the tires. I know I checked the lugs yesterday. Just checked the oil. Check the secondary oil on the ground. Looks like our water leak. I don't see water leak. I like it. Cold start. Twenty-four valves, borderline equivalent to a first gen on how nice they fire up. Tire steering's feeling good. Brakes are feeling good. Oil pressure way up there charging fuel tank that went down a little bit I was dang it. need to investigate the light for the clicking her ticket you know all right we'll put her in the tow haul not that that matters because I'm just gonna be manually shifting it Basically, waking up the Cummins is when you put it in its lock. Because when you got to unlock torque converter, you're just doing gas engine kind of stuff. 
So this is the first time I've ever done a complete front end, everything replaced except for the steering shaft. It's got a new steering wheel, airbag, steering box, everything on the front end, ball joints, whole nine. Oh Christ, thought we got here early enough. The dual lane, did it open? How are we gonna work it? Yeah, we'll figure it out when we get up there. And we're off. Let's sit for 13 minutes, 14 minutes. All the time thinking I hadn't seen too many gold trucks. First outing, gold second gen right in front of us. This trailer sound like it dropped from there, so I'm going over that speed point. Hopefully mine don't sound like that. Ah, look at that. All said and done. The third line. That guy's holding it up back there. Fuck it. We're going to cut them off. Confirm. Third. That's got to be a record. Luckily, eight of them went to recycling. Yeah. That old boy that was way at the back of everything, he cut and circled everybody. The one on the uh, outbound scale. I didn't have anywhere to park. I had to take the outside lane so I couldn't get on the inside lane so I could do the left hand loop. So we had to call it the left hand loop. Go boys. Auction salvage. Dump run unit. Not bad. Uh, there's a gold truck up there. They're still unloading their junk. It's a pickup load. It's a much of a slight inconvenience as it is to tow a trailer. The extreme convenience of just being able to hit a button, open the gates, hit a button, dump. Eight times more than you can fit inside of a pickup bed. What's this guy doing? I don't even know how they end up coming this direction, but I'm just going to keep driving. Oh, Christ. I just want to go through the scales and get out of here, and I don't know what you guys are doing here. I don't know where he's going, but... I ain't got time for this. We got to go home, hook up the enclosed trailer. We're headed to... Uh, 
Vacaville, which is several hours away. Oh, there's a bucket to tag. Let's not tag it with this truck. Go away, bucket. Oh, well, it still rolls a little coal under load, but it stopped that little hazing all the time. If you don't know this, if you park a rig for a while, they start to get haunted a little bit. All right, we got three to go, and then we're out of here. So far, so good. Now, I don't think it's loose enough to the point where I'm like scared about it, but I did remember crawling around underneath the truck, the starter bolts were a little bit, uh, well, I, I tightened them back down by finger tight. But when I hit the starter right next to that building, being able to hear the recoil, the echo, I went, ooh, oh yeah. But she started, we're out of there. Who knows how bad that was back in the day, but it wasn't bad enough to wiggle around before to where it'd be starting to mangle up the ring gear, you know what I mean? So get back home, button that up, double check for all the leaks. That, I mean, that was the longest we ran this truck. Temperature came up, thermostat opened, remain the temp. I like it, oil pressure. Hovered right below 40 at idle once it was warmed up. I'm liking it. Fuel gauge did go down a little bit though. I don't, I don't really care for that. I don't know. Is there a way to fix that? I don't think so. Because it's miles per gallon. People say, I got my buddy Jay bought a couple of these the other day, but they were two wheel drive regular cabs and they drove it back from out of state and he got. I, I, <laughs> He got in the 20s with that thing. 24, I think. That's some pretty dang good fuel mileage. Hopefully, you just fling a little bit of grease underneath here. Yep, grease went down on that sucker. Flung it. What's this? Shiny paint could be deceiving as a leak. We'll let it sit right there for a minute. Double check everything. I think with this long arm kit, it uh, it pushed that front end so far forward. I had to cut it back if you saw the earlier videos. The heim joint didn't go in all the way. Well, it did, it bottomed out, but it still had an inch of thread, so I cut off an inch on the tip went in all the way so it pulled it back a little bit more so it wasn't getting into our sway bar and i think we're doing good on that that's this old mess can't pressure wash everything in two rounds you got to do it in 70. but so things we got to do now air conditioner was dripping that scared me all we need to do is swap out the water for antifreeze tighten the starter and fix this wheel seal right here so it's not licking, licking, leaking, licking, leaking. So it's not licking, leaking. And this truck is 99.95% there. I don't think there's too much more else I have to do. But she did the tow test as to be expected. Backed her in a little crooked. It's out of the way. I like it. This truck is freaking sweet. That long arm kit, if you haven't rode in a truck that's got one of those, uh, bumpy road's a bumpy road. It's going to beat you up no matter what. Especially if you got a trailer, so that's probably equivalent to what we're running today. But if, you know, you're just on a loam Roman hill, this thing, I definitely noticed a difference in its characteristics and drivability. It, it felt pretty dang nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You have to, even with the Bilstein shocks. But either way. And do not ask if this truck is for sale, because it's it's not. It's already been spoken for. That's how it got here. It's spoken for prior, as in somebody else bought it and I fixed it for them. But that's not your concern. You'll see who got it and why shortly. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this old girl. Not too many of these gold ones around. And, man, this is, without a doubt, the best, cleanest salvaged title second gen ever.
It's unfair. It's unfair that it got salvaged, but man, I can see why they totaled it. It cost cost quite a bit of hours to fix this truck up. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.